Oh, let's go like that. Hi. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing here? Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary, coming to you with our Saturday morning live. We don't have anyone on. <laughs> I might as well go to sleep. Usually they're all on and they've jumped on about, you know, five, six, seven by now, but I'll just go back to sleep, will I? It is 10 o'clock, isn't it? What's time? It's 10 o'clock. It's 10.03, guys. Where are you? <laughs> hey, let me get the alarm going. Dun, 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 dun. Are you awake yet? <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Lovely to be here on this beautiful Saturday morning. We're having some gorgeous weather out there. Carmen, there is one in the house. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> Everyone's slow at popping in. Welcome, Carmen. By the way, everyone, make sure you pop your live chat on and not your top chat. Carmen, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to be talking about quite a few things this week. The delay on the vest again, but it's not a big delay. Okay, it's a small delay. Oh, beautiful Luana's in the house. We've got two. I think everybody's asleep this morning. <laughs> I don't know where everyone is, um, but doesn't matter. There's two of us on. We could have like our own little party here, guys. Oh, here we go. Ashley's in. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Luana. So we're getting a few people coming in now. We've got more coming in slowly. So we have a most fantastic weather out there this morning. I'm sorry about a little bit of noise. For some reason, our heater is on. <laughs> I want to go and turn it off, but I don't want to leave you here. Uh, Mary, by the way, you look so pretty in black. Oh, thanks, Carmen. Carmen, wait a second. I'm going to turn this heater off because it's going to be loud all the way through our life. Give me one moment, God. Just give me one moment. I'm back. I'm coming. I'm coming. So it's Christmas. Hello. Hi, <laughs> hi, Corinne. Uh, black looks good in black. Black looks good in black. Okay, I don't know what that means, Ash. <laughs> hello, hello. Now the heat is going to take a few seconds to turn off. We are having nice warm weather. I don't know why the heat is on. It was on for the few cold days that we've had this week. But look at me, I'm all red and flustered. I am a little bit red this morning because, now get this, I got up at four in the morning and I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I said, forget it, I'm going to do a workout and then I'll have a shower and then I'll go to the shops, to the milk bar to get some bread and then I'll clean the room a little bit and I've been up for five or six hours just doing stuff. <laughs> so I'm a little bit warm um, and we've just turned the heater off, so that's good. Hi Kiki, hello, hello. Uh, drink up mint you look good in black okay thanks honey Ash is all good um all right let's have a drink thanks Ash cheers everyone mm -hmm. so I've had six hours ahead of everyone um that's why I'm a little bit red already because I've done, oh, I've done quite a bit of workout got my Fitbit on I'm working out she's it's all happening again <laughs> I had a very slow week last week I missed two workouts, so I'm going to be catching up on that. Um, my personal trainer was great, though, because we had some, you know, things happen during the week, and we just didn't have time to do anything. So she was really good about it. She says, no, no, it's okay. Sometimes you have an off week. It happens. But I'm not going to give you any more exercises until you finish the last two programs. So I have to hurry up and get those programs finished <laughs> before I can get my new stuff in. Um, you've been up since 6.30. I've been up since 4. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to fight it. I'm sick of fighting it. What I do is I shut my eyes for two hours and then I go like this. <laughs> it's constantly like this. And this morning I thought, nah, forget it. I need to fit a workout in today anyways. If I go to sleep by nine o'clock tonight or eight o'clock, I don't care. <laughs> well, I'm not going to fight it today. So I got up and did a workout. So I'm already flustered because I've already done workouts and I've had breakfasts and two coffees and oh, it's like the end of the day for me. I think I'll go to bed after the live. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Uh, every time I can sleep in my body says, uh, yeah, your body says, nope, nope, that's it. I'm not having it, Ash. We're just not having it. You know, what do you do? <laughs> All right, guys, so what's happening on the channel this week? We got, um, we actually only did one upload. Oh, I think we did two. No, we did one upload, which was the, ah, it was this guy right here. It was the mystery top. The mystery top color combination chosen by the lovely Lorraine. It's getting exciting. 
thing it really is um so we've only had one upload i was supposed to do the vest now let me talk to you about the vest it is complete well no no it's not complete the left front is complete so when I went to I use all the old measurements to pop them back on the left front, I thought, hmm, that doesn't look right. Let me have another look at it. And I checked it again. All of the measurements are out except my size. <laughs> I know I'm telling a lie, except my size, extra small and small. So three of the measurements were perfect. So I'm going to have to go through and adjust all that old footage. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, but I will show you what we've got so far. And so on Monday, I'll have to rewrite and check all those measurements. And again, the problem was because I hand wrote this pattern. Yeah, it was in the tub with the vest and parts of it was missing. And so I kind of just went, OK, I think we did this much. and We, we must have done that much. And, and no, never do that. <laughs> <laughs> never ever do that but let me show you what we have done on the channel thus far and then what I've done that you will see on Monday because I just want to make sure those measurements are correct and write the measurements in I don't know whether to just type them in rather than have them go up on the screen I don't know I haven't thought about them yet well they may have to go up on the screen because the video is already edited <laughs> it's ready to go it's just waiting for me to pop those measurements up and because they didn't add up from the back I thought no 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 I have to rework everything go back into the old videos and adjust them in the more section or the description area um, and then I'll leave a post in the comment section saying please see the description area for correction of the sizes not all sizes I think it's a three extra large and two extra large look I don't remember all I remember was oh, wait a minute that doesn't add up and that doesn't add up and that doesn't Oh my gosh, I started to panic. And this was about four in the afternoon yesterday. I thought, no, I can do this. I can do this. And I kept playing with this. It's not working out. What's going on? And I'm starting to, you know, sweat. <laughs> I was really scared. Um, so I thought, you know what? Forget it. Let's just put it on hold, spend all day Monday working on all the measurements, and then upload it Monday night or Tuesday. All right. But let me show you the back. This is the back so far. Now, this is a back that you should have completed so everyone should be part one two and three is here put it that way all right part one I think we did the gauge swatch really so it wasn't really um the vest but you had all the information about what yarn you needed so make sure you watch part one if you haven't done the vest don't if you haven't done the vest yet and you haven't started don't start yet until I play with all the measurements um and then recheck them because they don't match not all of them like I said some of them don't that's the back. Now, what I completed yesterday was the left front. So by accident, I completed the left front before the right front because I wanted to do the right front first. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because what I've asked you to do at the end of the tutorial was don't cast off your thread for the left front. So just you, you wouldn't have been able to cast it off anyway because we're going to be doing some ribbing on both sides. But for the left front, the yarn ends up in the right place where you can start the ribbing. Whereas the right front, you need to reattach. And we'll talk about that when we're doing the right front. So this is the left front. I don't know whether I'll stand up and show you, but it's like this for me. All right. Now, it doesn't go all the way across. It kind of sits there. And it also has about two centimetres away from the centre because we are doing a three centimetre ribbing all right so it's going to sit like that right there it's a bit too high there all right so you're going to have two and a half centimeter ribbing like that and it'll come out to there and it'll come down there so then it will be center right it's still a bit loose like if I had to move that over properly it'll be a bit loose I hope I don't know if you can see that now in the pattern I do say if you want yours bigger you need to add if you want yours to be hip length you need to add another 18 stitches per size. Yeah, per size. All right, so that's the right front. And let me show you that section right here. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? But the ribbing is going to go over it. So these tiny, tiny little bumps that you see, you won't see those. They will be hidden within the ribbing, which is really cool. Yeah. So the vest is, as you see, the front is complete. <laughs> All it needs was the ribbing, which I wasn't going to do until the final 
um, part of our tutorials. But ooh, I've got a lot of thread here. Um, but I didn't want to do it in that tutorial anyways. So I've asked you to pop your stitch marker in and not cut your thread for the left. Now let me go back because I've missed all of the chat. I do apologise. Uh, yes, I thought you put up also. No, I didn't put the vest up, actually. Not yet. Um, uh, Rosalind, good morning, Mary. My first live. Rosalind, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you in. We have a lot of fun here on the live. Sometimes we're naughty. Not me. It's always them, right? <laughs> I throw them all under the bus yet again. No, sometimes we're naughty and we go into the naughty corner. But by naughty, I mean, you know, you make me laugh or you have some sort of crochet idea that I love um, and you just pop in the corner and you're just naughty. <laughs> but it's a good naughty. It's an honour to get in the corner. So welcome, Rosalind. So there you go. Ashley says thumbs up. Guys, thumbs up costs you nothing. And it does show YouTube you want to see more of this, 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 that, everything. <laughs> it shows YouTube you want to see more. Um, hi, Fluffy. Hello, Fluff Fluffs. <laughs> the Fluffster. <laughs> Drink up, says Ashley. <laughs> Rosalind, we're all into health on the channel as well. Well, no, we're not all into. I'm trying to be healthy. I've got the Fitbit on. I do my workouts. Although last week was a very sad week. <laughs> that was the 13th week on the pro. Oh, that's what it was. Number 13. Lucky num unlucky number. The 13th week, the 13th week on the program and I messed it up. But we're back in action again. Did you like the that spaghetti? I did. I did left a little message there with, you know, I can't always message and respond back to people. Actually, I'm sure you understand. I don't know about you, but I do get a lot of people um, messaging me. So when you see thumbs up or you see me laughing, it means I did like it. Beautiful. Catherine, lovely to have you here. Um, you know, Ashley sent a funny picture about the, the spaghetti. Was it knitting spaghetti? Achoo. I think it was. <laughs> Rosalind, you're new here. You didn't know this, but I'm allergic to knitting. No, I'm not. I can knit. I just don't like to do it much. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Mm. So this is the cup that Karen uh, purchased for me. Karen, one of our subscribers, who is on holidays at the moment, and she sent this little gorgeous piece right there. How cute is that? I love, love, love. Karen, she's such a good girl, our Karen. Cheers again. Mm. And it's also the 13th today. Is it actually bad things better not happen? <laughs> I'm not happy. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I am really busy during the week as well. And I think yesterday and the day before when I was finished recording um, the vest, all I could think of was I'm not going to upload it yet until I check those measurements because this vest has been locked away for months and months. So we did the back. Um, months ago, I think we started in August last year, might have been July. <laughs> I don't remember. We started way back and then I popped them in a tub because I was doing flooring in this room and the tubs ended up some in the garage, some in the shed, some around the house, some in the laundry. They were everywhere, right? But we had to uh, do the flooring. It wasn't just in this room. It was in uh, one, two, three rooms of the house. So everything all ended up everywhere. And I tossed everything in and I had no idea what I did with the vest. I finally found the vest. The pattern was handwritten and not typed up. Um, and the reason is it's just a basic pattern that goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and then just across. And then when I say basic, the back is basic. The front can be a little tricky, but, but it's not completely difficult. You just have to remember your count for your size. Now, the bonus is I've done the count for the front here, very similar per set. So extra small, small and medium will have their size that they're going down. So you can't get confused on that. Medium, uh, sorry, large to two extra large. I'm trying to remember the, the video now. Yeah, <laughs> large to two extra large, you'll have your amounts. And three extra large to five extra large, you'll have your amounts rather than separate amounts. Um, because that's what I couldn't find that part of the pattern. And that's the part that I thought, what did I do? What did I do? I can't remember. I can't remember. So I kind of worked on that on Thursday morning. It was Thursday morning that I was working on that 
without the recording, just working, 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 thinking, um, because I thought the pattern was in the tubs, in the tub, which it was, but not this part of it. I had done this part of it on a separate book, which I have no idea where that book is. So I redid it for all the sizes, but I made it simple so that each group has their own measurement down. And it kind of sits about there mostly for most sizes. The extra large sizes might come down a tiny little bit more, but that's okay because we will have our two and a half centimetre ribbing that will go around both sides of the front. So when you button it up, it literally goes over each other. It doesn't just button up here, it goes over. So you button the whole thing sits over. So it's it's a button up vest, we decided. And then I couldn't find my buttons. <laughs> I was so upset because I went out and bought these buttons specifically for this vest months and months and months ago. And they're gone missing. I'm so annoyed. And I pulled out some love heart buttons. They're in the other room. And I said, if I can't find the buttons by next Thursday, I'm just going to pop the love heart buttons on. Or <laughs> go up to Spotlight and buy some more. <laughs> So if you don't know what Spotlight is, guys, Spotlight is our uh, large chain where you can get all your craft from materials to zips to buttons, sewing machines, mannequins, uh, crochet, knitting, achoo, and all that jazz, yeah? So you've got that opportunity to go out. And I always buy buttons from there, both Spotlight and Lincraft. So there you go. Oh, I'm going to lost all the chat again, again. Um, oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Everyone's saying hello. I only know date because I usually at Supernova today, but didn't have money this time, unfortunately. I don't know what Supernova is. Um, the wooden buttons, yeah, they're gone. They're here in the house. Remember, I tossed everything in tubs, so they are here. And um, I don't know where, though. You, I, I wished I had more time to label those tubs, Kiki, but I didn't. Hi, Cherry B. Lovely to have you here, Kathy. Um, Limcraft is so much cheaper for buttons. Thank you, Kiki. I do prefer to go to Limcraft, but they don't always have the buttons that I like. And those ones that I purchased were from Spotlight, so I'm a little bit annoyed. <laughs> now, look, they're in the house. They're not thrown out or anything. They're just in one of those tubs because I shifted things from, you know, as you know, from the rooms. My regulars would know that. Um, so I'm a little bit annoyed with myself. So if I can't find them... Uh, where's the pussycat button? I think that's still in here. Oh, no, I found it in the other room, I think. Here's some more buttons in here, but they're not. These are the wooden buttons. Um, oh, no, they're not the ones. It's in the other room. Yeah, the pussycat buttons are in the other room. Oh, 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 excuse me. What is she doing? They're saying, what is she doing? I could go for just some boring buttons like that. Some plain old boring button. I don't want to. I bought those other buttons. Pussycat buttons in the other room. So let me talk about the pussycat button. It's this big, right? What I was going to do with that button, and I'm saying that now because I've tossed it around from room to room, it's starting to get scratched. <laughs> I've noticed some scratches on it. And it's my fault because it's just jumping everywhere. And every time I show someone, I take it in to show someone and I just pop it on the table. It ends up on the floor, gets knocked off the table. I pick it up and bring it in here. It's been tossed around. So it's got a couple of scratches on it. I probably will still use it, right? Um, I was going to use it and I was keeping it a secret, but I'll tell you now because it's not really a secret. As a big button here for some sort of cloak or some sort of maybe a, a cardigan-y kind of thing that's not, that won't take ages to create. It'll have a big button in front where it'll just sit like that rather than a cardigan that does un. Uh, buttons all the way down a big button on something like that looks really nice but I just haven't had the time <laughs> it's not on the cards it wasn't on our uh, list of things to do last year it wasn't on our th list of things to do this year so the button's just been sitting there playing from room to room and it's just not not good enough <laughs> not good enough supernova is an event meet stars and dress up as characters oh, actually, I have heard of that yes you're right uh, popping in, still waiting for my niece. Oh, hi, middle. Hi, hi. We're at 24.3 still. I know it's a bit slow at the moment, isn't it? It's taking too long to get to 25 this time. I think it knows I want to get to 25. <laughs> it knows. Um, so lovely to have you in, middle. Middle, I'm not even sure if I can make your live tomorrow morning. I have too much on. Actually, I've got to go out somewhere early 
and it'll cut in the middle of your live. So I don't think I'll be on your live either tomorrow. Um, you didn't think you were going to come in tonight. No, I know. I saw that message. You didn't have time to respond to it. But heads up, I won't be able to come in tomorrow. Lorraine, hi, Lorraine. Lorraine, you're the one that, that chose the colour combination for this. Is that correct, Lorraine? Was it you, honey? Uh, a capelet, maybe. Cloak would be nice, uh, but would take forever. That's why I thought something that would just be like an open top thing with a big white button there just to cover my shoulders and and that way it's closed a little bit on my chest and I really like my chest area warm um especially during the cooler months I wear long no sleeves sometimes but I like my chest warm I don't know it's one of those things it's not that um it's not a modesty thing it's because I like it to be kept warm <laughs> it's not a modesty thing I just like to be kept warm but sometimes with modesty like this top here <laughs> on this dress for those of you who haven't seen this dress I popped this up on one of our um, video vlogs and I talked about how I wore it to a wedding and the top was really low cut it wasn't low cut when I was bigger because everything filled out <laughs> but I've lost a little bit away and the dress just kind of went really low and all the undergarments were showing so I didn't know what to do and I popped this beautiful little lace um modesty top if you will <laughs> we can call that a modesty top over the dress and it just fit perfectly I didn't think it would but it did and I'm quite happy with it so that's kind of what we call a modesty top as well now I noticed you got the photos I sent you do you think I need to do to go a hook size up didn't I didn't I respond to that middle I'm sorry um I didn't respond to it I thought I had oh, I'm so sorry hun um what did I say no I said to you that's right I did respond I said unless I didn't hit send I said tightening up and curling it means that it's you need to go up a hook size that's the only time you need to worry about that going up a hook size will make your blanket bigger but look how big this blanket is for those of you who are joining us new, Rosalind, by the way, this is the small version of the easier version of the blanket. And this is our bigger version. It's very big. I did leave um, the size in the more section of one of the videos. It might have been on all of them, all of the parts. But check the, the more sections. It's really big. So I wouldn't worry too much about size. Entirely up to you if you want it bigger. By all means, go up a hook size. I thought I responded to that. Did I not? Middle? I can't remember. I'm positive I responded to that. Maybe not. Now, I haven't used my blanket because I, I don't want it to get all yucky. <laughs> For now, I don't mind getting it all yucky in summer. And it is made in cotton, so I'm going to use it as a summer blanket. Um, Okay. I love the turtlenecks. Yes, thank you, Sherry. Uh, I get you says Kiki uh, I like my shoulders warm isn't that interesting it's one of those things I do just like it warm again not a modesty thing that was a modesty thing only because it was an evening wear and I wanted to to look nice and not have to show my undergarments <laughs> so yeah um I want to make the smaller size the little tiny one this one here honey um who's that Carmen you want to make this one this one here is like a coaster yeah um you want to make the square from the smaller size you know what i can actually upload that square if you like it is different than those squares when i say it's different remember the row after the single crochets where you did some doubles some halves and some doubles in this square i just do doubles all the way across if you were to do that on the big blanket it would wave and it wouldn't look good but it looks okay as a little placemat okay just heads up if you want to do this size I'm happy to pop that square up for you but it doesn't look it won't sit flat if you make it in that measurement all right or in a larger size just heads up and you can even see it now it's kind of a tiny little bit of a wave not much but if you wanted to do the same stitch as that you need to watch the um, original so I can pop that little square up if you like uh, I just don't want you to assume that you can use that in the larger blanket because you can't yeah it's there are some squares this is what I said with my um, the granny there's a granny circle on my um, tutorials here 
but it's way back. It's one of the first videos I did. Now, I've mentioned it time and time again, but nobody's listening. Uh, the way I've created, they said, to make it bigger, what can I do? Well, to make it bigger, you kind of have to work with math. OK, it's not a matter of just repeating. I said we can repeat those last two rows until you get to a certain measurement, but not as a blanket form, more as a, just a, a little tabletop thing. If you were to go in blanket, your blanket would weigh. You need to um, not increase on every row with certain patterns. And ones like this that are a tight pattern, if you continue doing it in large sizes all the way through it's going to wave or if you don't um, add a few extra stitches it can also curl up so with some of these patterns you've kind of got to use math and you've got to be careful with your math that was okay that square in a small square but to make that larger that would wave yeah you have to use the old the other pattern not the old pattern but the other one um well that's a big difference uh, yes, it is, <laughs> Fluffy. It is, yeah. Uh, I might go up uh, a hook size just because it looks small, but not too far up. Well, have a look, middle. Have a look at that's the size you've done so far, from that green to that green. It's actually quite small. That's the same as that. It just grows because you've got different sets. And if you want yours bigger, you can continue your sets over and over again. You don't have to do the border row until you want yours bigger. Yeah, you don't have to join or do the border row. But even after you join, you can still do that pattern. You've got to be careful because it might wave a little bit. So just heads up there. Uh, yes, yes, says Carmen. Yes, Carmen, says Carmen. Uh, I want to use this pattern for a baby blanket. Okay. All right, Carmen. Once again, the small square, I wouldn't suggest making them in larger sizes. The larger square, the pattern is already up on here, YouTube here, all right? Uh, the small size, no. If, I were, if you were to make that small size over and over again, then I suggest making this square. Just keep going on the square. You don't have to make four squares. Just get one of these squares that I've done. Go to the part where it's... Um, where it gets to, let's see, where it gets to your very last row of yellow there, yeah? Don't do the last two rows of the cream and just keep building your blanket. I hope that makes sense, yeah? Uh, don't join them if you want to. Is that what you want to do? You just want one square and just keep going in that pattern? Because if that's what you want to do, when you get to, I can't remember what pattern we stopped at, what part we stopped at, if it was part three or four, I would have to check it out. Who's asking anyway? Uh, it was Carmen. Carmen, are you able to PM me, private message me somewhere, either on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere like that? Can you do that? Um, uh, thanks, Mary. I keep going then with the four millimetre. Yeah, middle, I wouldn't stress too much about it, hun. It's a really big blanket. Yeah, and you can grow it yourself. No, I want to, to stay small. Uh, okay. So, look, PM me. And we'll talk about sizing through that, and I'll tell you where to stop on the videos, okay? So I'll say go to part one or part two, finish at part two, or finish at part three, all right? So can you do that? PM me the size you want, and I'll tell you when to stop. And it, and what I'll do is I'll give you a rough idea. And then if you think, well, it's just not big enough, then you do the full set again, all right? Now, I don't mind getting PMs from you guys, like private messages or direct messages from Instagram, wherever you want to message me. If it's an important message like that where you need to make that square and you don't want to join it with other squares, you just want that, or you want to make some four little square or whatever, right? I don't mind if you message me like that. Just be weary, guys, if you're messaging me about little things like Ashley did the other day. I do either thumbs up or I do have a little giggle thing. I can't always respond to those because there's so many of them that come in that it's hard to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's an important message about the vest or about a top or about the blanket or about whatever it is that we've made that you can't seem to work out because 
I don't know, the size doesn't sit right or this doesn't work right or it's not the right colour and you can't find this. And whatever the case may be, then I will get back to you. It may not happen straight away, but I will get back to you. It takes a lot longer these days. I need a secretary. <laughs> I need a private secretary. No, no I'm not that... I'm not that um, advanced to get a private secretary, but I could do with one. And and she needs, or he needs, I don't care about agenda, needs to know crochet as well as being a secretary. Needs to know how to type like this. Needs to pull the face. <laughs> no, doesn't really need to pull the face. But needs to know how to type. Needs to know how to use social media. Needs to know how to be crochet um, orientated. Needs to have everything. And I need to like them. <laughs> Well, I like it, forget it. I'm so naughty. Um, <laughs> drink up, says Ashley. All right, drink up, guys. There's our water. Let's have a drink. Cheers. All right. Okay, so what happened this week was really only uh, this piece right here. Now, it is a mystery top. I'm looking down because I don't want to tell you what it is yet. You will find out this week, though. <laughs> One of the days this week, all right? So it's a mystery top, so keep that in mind. I miss, I'll miss you tomorrow, but I understand you. I've got, yeah, I can't. I'm actually leaving the house early too, which is no good for me on a Sunday morning. I don't like going out. <laughs> Sunday's my day to stay home, clean house a little, a little, just a little, right? Not a lot, a little. Um, and, you know, sit on the, everybody sleeps in Sunday, except me. I never sleep in, right? So I sit on the couch and just crochet my my things that I like, that I don't have to think about, you know, like hexagon cardigans and things. <laughs> They're coming, I promise. Um, and I like to do things just for myself, uh, crochet things for myself um, on a Sunday morning, just to play, you know, not for making anything unless I'm making something for myself, like a cardigan or a top. Um, but the way I'm working, we're going to end up with a lot of vests and tops. Um, so I'm not going to be creating any tops anytime soon after we do the hexagon cardigan, although we are still doing our jacket, our annual project. So keep that in mind. Uh, but the tops, we probably won't make any for a little while. But again, we're still making them, just not for a while. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about last week. We uploaded just that one. Uh, I was going to do the vest, which I did complete, but the measurements don't add up. So I'm going to play with measurements and re-upload them all everywhere. And I will inform you guys uh, of where I've put those measurements so you know what to do with that. Um, and what else, what else, what else? This week, what's happening this week? Monday, I said that I will pop up part four, which is the right front of our vest, the right front. Let's try the left front. <laughs> what? The left front of our vest will go up on Monday, won't go up till later in the evening Monday, but I'm going to spend all day Monday playing with the measurements, trying to work out where we went, where I went wrong. Now, if that doesn't work, it'll go up Tuesday during the day, all right? But it is recorded and it is edited. All I do with the editing, and, and you guys know the way I do it, I say, right, do your double crochets all the way across, these are your measurements. And then the measurements go up, and they're the ones that are wrong. <laughs> so I have to rewrite them and make them correct for the both the fronts and then go back and uh, in the other videos and repair the back for those <laughs> i don't know how i'm going to do it but i'll work around it yeah that'll teach me that will teach me to type the pattern up because if the pattern was on the computer even though i lost the vest once i found the vest i could have just printed the pattern off the computer <laughs> as you do and it would have been there and actually, I have started typing that pattern up on the computer. The whole back is up there, but the measurements are still wrong. They don't add up. So I'm going to work on that um, with the videos. I'm going to have to go through all the videos and work on the videos. Can you believe it? It take me hours. And that's my fault, not yours. It's my fault. And I just wasn't careful. And you know what it was? It's the typing. My typing. All I have to do is type the, the numbers in. That's it. That's all I had to do. And I typed the numbers in wrong on certain sizes. And because I did that, it was like a domino's effect. Every time I do the next row, that would be wrong. <laughs> the next row, that would be even wrong. And it would be wrong all the way through. So I have to go right back from where the first error was, <clears throat> correct that first error, and then correct the error on each section where I said you should have every row. <laughs> 
It's driving me nuts now that I think about it. It's going to drive me nuts. So what I have to even do is say, right, let's just say it was extra large, which it wasn't. It was one of the other ones. Uh, extra large, uh, you should have 29 stitches when really you should have had 22 stitches, right? So I correct that in that section. Then I've got to go to the next row and get the 22 corrected. But the next row, we added another... I don't know, 30 stitches because we wanted to do the front. So not only do I have to fix those whatever stitches it was, I've forgotten already. See, maths is no good. Um, but I also have to correct the length as well because it wouldn't have worked out. It's just, it was like a domino's effect. Everything went wrong thereafter. So fingers crossed that nobody's in a lot of drama, <laughs> drama with it. And you would have worked it out yourself. You would have counted across and said, Mine don't add up to be 29. Mine add up to be 22. What's she talking about? And then you would have asked me. You would have said, Mary, why doesn't mine add up to be da, da, da? And I would have said, let me check. And then I would have went, ah, and nobody did. So <laughs> I didn't check. It's my fault. Um, and that'll teach me. Teach me. You've got to learn, Mary. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ashley's laughing. Thank you. Thank you. Laughing at my expense. I get it. Uh, quick question about rugs. Do you increase every single row to the end? Or do you stop increasing at some point and keep repeating one row until you're done? No. See, once again, middle, it's all about math. It really drives me up the wall. The rug that we created on our channel here, we just increased. That was the type of stitch that you could just keep going. You add one double crochet all the way. You just keep going, right? Some rugs you can't do it with. Some patterns, not the rugs. It's some patterns like the normal double crochet clusters where you do three double crochets in a set and you do them in the spaces all the way in the round. Once you get to round 12 or 11, roughly around there, I can't remember now, it's such a long time since I've done it, it starts to wave. So you have to either use a certain math, which there is a math involved. I never use it. What I do is I do two rounds or maybe even three, depending on how it's curved, of just plain no increasing and then I'll do an increased round might be two rounds I think it's two rounds yeah but then the bigger the blanket gets the more wavier it gets so you you do after a third round or after the fourth round it just depends but there is a math to it which I haven't worked out yet and that's why I haven't done a big round blanket on the channel because I haven't worked out the proper math if I work out the proper math I'll do it if I don't work out the proper math, I'll still do it, but do it the other way where I say, right, we're going to do it as a um, a, a join, like a, a crochet along. So when I start to see the wave, you won't see that. I'll work it out, take that wave undone, and I'll do the other two rounds. And then I'll say, right, you don't need to do an increase because I've worked out that you don't. Need. So do you know what I'm saying? Like you have to know the math. If you don't know it, you kind of have to work it out yourself. For all patterns, they have a certain math. Some rugs, like the one we made on our channel, we didn't have to worry about decrease or increase. We just kept increasing all the way out. I hope that makes sense, middle. Ashley says, thumbs up, thank you. Thumbs up cost you nothing. It doesn't cost you anything. Ashley's so laughing at me. Ashley, you're really laughing at my expense today, aren't you, honey? <laughs> Ashley, get in the corner. <laughs> you got to go, all right, middle, we'll see you soon, darling. You take care. All right, I'm going to have a drink, guys, because it's really warm. I left the heater on, on this warm weather, and now I'm feeling, because we, we, we're getting into cold weather, and we're having a mild day today, <laughs> and tomorrow's going to be even warmer. Go figure. Cheers. Mm. All right, so I hope that made sense, middle. I hope I answered your question. It's really hot. It's really hot. Oh, what? Um, all right. So what's happening this week on our channel? Monday, I've put down here pattern writing. But in reference to pattern writing, it's going to be the best. Uh, we have lots of rain. Oh, really? Um, oh, hi, Anne. I didn't see you come in, darling. Hi, Anne. Did you come in? I missed you, darling. I'm so sorry. I haven't said hello. You must type really fast because I missed you. Hi, Anne. Or have you just commented for, the, for this one comment? <laughs> Hi. Um, all right. So as I said, pattern writing on Monday, but it is to fix up this one. All right. And then I'll upload this one, whether it be uh, the Monday night or the Tuesday morning. It's as you can see, it's complete. 
without the ribbing. We are going to do the ribbing before attaching it to the back. Get that. We'll talk about that on the next part as well. It's very interesting the way we're doing this vest, isn't it? It's very interesting. Um, I'm laughing because you are so much like me. Me? I'm a good girl. Ashley, I do nothing wrong. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> uh, yes, I haven't commented before. Oh, well, hello, Anne. Hi. Lovely Anne. Um, she's such a clown today, God. What is wrong with me today? You know what? It's getting up at four in the morning. It did it. <laughs> if you didn't know this, I was up at four in the morning. I've done a workout. I've had showers. I've cleaned the room. I've gone to the milk bar. <laughs> what else have I done? Um, I had breakfast. I had two coffees already. It's the coffee. It's not. I'm just a bit. I'm, I'm, I've been awake way too long. Yeah, I'm always innocent, Cherry. Always. I'm a good girl. You've only done six thumbs up. Oh, we only have six thumbs up. I know. People don't love me. It's okay. Oh, they don't love me. <laughs> don't you love it? She's such a sooky Lala. Monday, pattern writing. <laughs> Moving right along. Tuesday, we are going to, I've put down vest, all right, at this stage. We were supposed to complete this guy on Tuesday. Or not complete it. Well, no, I have actually got to a stage where it's almost complete, actually. <laughs> what? Um, I believe you. Minnie wouldn't. Ashley, okay. <laughs> you love me, Sherry. Oh, Sherry. I knew there was one of you who loved me. It's you. <laughs> it is you. Um, <laughs> don't blame me. Don't blame the coffee. Never speak badly about coffee. <laughs> Go in the corner. Oh, my gosh. Kiki just sent me to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love it beautiful ashley thumbs up thank you darling you're such an angel <laughs> i won't let anyone tell me otherwise <laughs> i have i have really not oh no it's water <laughs> just checking <laughs> i'm very naughty um uh, can we get back to it guys she gets so sidetracked monday pattern writing the vest tuesday the vest Wednesday live, Thursday, this guy, okay? This guy was supposed to be on Tuesday, but I'm closer to finishing off the vest and I would love to finish that vest off on Tuesday. She says, and she knows it's not going to get finished. <laughs> um, I have found if you turn your work after each row, my work lays flat. Rosalind, is that with the... Um, the granny stitch in the round. Rosalind, you know what the granny stitch is, the three double crochets. Sometimes three double crochets, chain one, or sometimes just three in each space. Uh, we all love you. Oh, oh, thanks, Ashley. I've got another one who loves me. Oh, Ashley, oh, I'm getting all shy. I don't get shy. <laughs> she doesn't get shy. Um, I have to leave early. i got hair, hairdressers. Take it. Oh, fluffs. Get your hair nice and gorgeous, you know, just get that done. Like, just do that, right? This is, if you didn't know this, before the live, I do that. And now I come out looking like this. <laughs> Curly tops. You have a lovely hairdresser's appointment. You enjoy it, honey. Make sure they give you a good massage. And I don't go to the hairdressers. I have not been to the hairdressers in... Hmm, 10, 12 years maybe. I can't tell you. The only time I will ever go to the hairdressers is if one of my children get married and they have to have the mother at the hairdressers, then I'll go. Otherwise, that's not happening. Hairdressers, they see my hair and they say, what can we do with it? Nothing. Wash it, curl it, and let me walk away. Or you can straighten it. Don't touch. <laughs> what they want to do is they want to cut it short. And then I want to do this like woof thing. And sometimes I want to do these little side things and make me look like something weird from outer space. I think, excuse me, I just want to be me, thanks. <laughs> Ari, uh, you are looking well. Oh, Cherry. You know what it is? It's the water. It's the losing of the weight. Can't wait to do a full body scan. <laughs> the problem is, this is, you're going to laugh when I say it because I think I said it last week. I'm losing the weight. From the hips down the top is staying the same so right now I look like one of those you know the spinning tops you ever seen them where they're real skinny down the bottom and they're bigger 
that's what I look like. <laughs> a spinning top. My legs are always skinny, but from the waist up, it just stays that big. <laughs> a little spinning top. <laughs> She's so naughty. Um, <laughs> I haven't been been in years either. I just don't go because all, especially with women over 29, <laughs> all they want to do is cut your hair short and they want to give you the bop. And do you know what this hair, as much as it looks nice like this, do you know what it looks like short? The curls tighten up and I get this like, and they don't tighten up nicely where you've seen those beautiful models with the curls that just sit gorgeous. Mine has bushy on one side, a little bald spot here so it's flat to the head. So this is like that or that's like, it's terrible short, which is why you never see me with short hair. So naughty. I can see it in your face. Oh, thanks, Cherry. Oh, Cherry, Kathy, you're my new friend. <laughs> I knew I had one. Oh, my gosh. She loves me. She loves me. I love you. Um, Can we get on with it? <laughs> I get so sidetracked, guys. I don't know how you put up with me. I really don't. Now, moving right along. <laughs> Vest Tuesday, top Thursday, vest or top on Friday. I hope to have both of them finished this week, done and dusted. So long as I can get the measurements right on the vest. <laughs> no, I'll get them right. I'll have it all done by Monday. And then if I need to, um, whenever I type up on those editing packages, I'm finding them annoying. After this vest, no more typing on the editing packages. I'm going to have it written, typed up on the computer and print it out. And then have the camera do a top down because every time I type up on those editing packages, things go wrong. I print it and then things get moved. And I said, what is that? The large. It drives me nuts. It's not like office or anything like that where you can edit it and fix it. It's, it's really weird. It drives me nuts. So next time I do it. No more um, measurements on that. I'm going to have measurements on a typed piece of paper for you guys because it means taking an extra half a day to get things done, but I think I would prefer it. I think I really would, yeah? All right, this way we don't have any mistakes. Um, oh, Yvonne, hi, Yvonne. Lovely to have you here. Lovely to have you here. Um, you're buffering at my house. Oh, am I buffering? Am I buffering everywhere or just with Carmen? Am I buffering, guys? Please check your um, your connection. If you're buffering and everybody's buffering, then it's my connection. If it's your connection, you can always refresh uh, one way or another. I don't know how to refresh. It's not. Okay. Okay. So, Carmen, it must be yours, darling. See if you can refresh whether you get out of it and come back into it. I don't know how it works. was just typing to see if anyone else was buffering. Are oh, you buffering, are you, Kiki? Oh, okay, then it's me. Then it's my connection. If other people are buffering, then it must be my connection. Um, had a bit of connection jump there. We're back to normal or not? This happens a lot, doesn't it? Um, yes, okay, so it's my connection. Naughty connection. Get yourself sorted out. All right, we've told them off um, and we're good now. <laughs> That's so naughty. Bad connection, bad. <laughs> I go like this because it comes from another room. It's probably why we have a lot of problems. To be fair, when I used to do my lives, I used to do it right next to the connection in the old days. So I never had a problem with it skipping and everything because it was right there. The camera was there. The connection was very strong. <laughs> Unless we had connection issues out on the street and then it wasn't strong. But that didn't happen very often. But now that this is on the, the other side of the house, the connection's really bad, and when the family are home, if they get up, I make them shut this door so that they can have their own privacy, and we don't hear them say, I'm going to have some toast now. <laughs> I'm going to have a coffee now. And, you know, they have to talk in the mornings. People can't be quiet, right? Um, well, I can't anyway. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> I can't be quiet. Um, Margaret, hi, Margaret. Um, all doing housework and forgot the time. Doll, oh, that's all right, honey. We haven't, well, we have done quite a bit. 49 minutes, honey. <laughs> 49 minutes. We're all good now. That's good. We're all good. That's great. So connections back on track. That's because I told it off. 
that. <laughs> this is one of those things. <laughs> it's so naughty. Now, by any chance that we get all this done this week, and Friday comes and there's nothing up going up on Friday, <laughs> then I'll pop a short up. But if we don't get this done this week, no short. I know I've got a few shorts that I've said I was going to put up. I really want to get this work done. The shorts, look, they don't take long. I could probably do it, but it's more important to get these two tops out, one vest, one top. The bonus is once they're out, I'll have a few tops to wear for autumn or fall, as some people call it here in Australia. We're actually in autumn at the moment, but you couldn't tell today because it's really warm out. <laughs> it's like the first time ever our weather has been this warm at this time of year. It really is not. It's abnormal. <laughs> So I won't be wearing my vests and my tops until maybe another week and a half, which is a bonus because this will be finished this week. Yay! Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Depending on who you're with, you can get boosters for around the house for internet. Well, look, we had no problems in the old days. This is a new thing. Yeah, it's a new thing. Cheers, everyone. I don't know. Uh, what it is. I must admit this time of the year, the young ones are on school holidays. I think they go back to school next week. Melburnians, if there's any Melburnians on, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure they go back to school next week. I could be wrong. Well, I hope so. Because I find the shops are chaos. <laughs> there's like itty bitty things running around everywhere. <laughs> itty bitty things. I have no patience. Oh, it is next week. Oh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> How naughty am I? No, it's just that when I go shopping, there's like little ones running out in front of you and, you know, they're all coughing and sneezing and they're oh, in your face and I'm just, and I'm short, so I'm a little one. <laughs> in width, I'm not a little one, just in height. <laughs> we won't go there. Um, and so they're in my face and I'm trying to be friendly. Do that smile but i'm not not happy <laughs> i know they go back up here next week or do they actually it's pretty likely that they're all going back next week which will really work well for me because i have no patience it's not true it's not true i can i've worked with kids before so i you know i do have patience i think that i just don't like it overcrowded you have next week off do you corinne all right okay is that all um students or just people in general where you're from like it's a holiday week for everyone well not everyone obviously supermarkets and places like that will be open that sort of thing so there you go all right so I just want to let everyone know this week again it's all about the vest and the top the mystery top and the vest students that is okay I got you Corinne thanks um but then after that we are going to start on our projects that we're supposed to be supposed to have started in March what even a couple of February projects I can't remember what they are I'd have to go through and check them and I always do once we finish the big projects that we're on like this big blanket and things I go through everything and think oh my gosh we were supposed to have completed two more items up to date by now <laughs> so next year I'm gonna not put so much on my plate for the first part of the year because the first part of the year gets extra busy because you have valentine's day st patrick's day easter and mother's day it all happens within the first three or four months um from january all the way up till may it's constant constant days so we're going to next year focus on those days rather than what else we can make in between but you will have the odd and no blankets between January and May because it just takes up too much look I did it to get rid of the mystery blanket I say get rid of it because we were supposed to make it last March it's a whole year ago right so I did it to do it but none around January to May because it just takes up too much time maybe after May we can toss in big blankets tops whatever whatever we want to make sweaters um cardigans we can do that after may but any time between january and may is really tricky so i'm going to keep the smaller projects for the beginning of the year so that we can continue to create some gorgeous projects on the important days like 
your um, Valentine's or your St. Paddy's or your Easter's and Mother's Day's and things like that. After that, we can get stuck into all the big gear. I hope that makes sense, yeah? Uh, I did it this year for the sake of continuation of what I usually do, but next year we're going to change, plus something new is coming next year. Something new is coming next year. I can't talk about it yet because I haven't been given the okay. <laughs> love it she needs the okay by the bosses you think i'm the boss oh gosh no i'm the little nerd who sits on the couch and crochets all the time and maybe does the editing but all the other gear in the background i don't do any of that i do the editing i do edit my own videos i do add my own music but the music i get from um phantom studios he gives me all our music and you know phantom studios is run by my young son he's not young he's an adult <laughs> who's a man um so <laughs> i always just think my kids are babies but they're not <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much all i do i crochet i edit and then i add the music that is given to me by uh, phantom studios so i'm gonna have a drink cheers thank you ashley mm. i did slurp that a little bit don't tell anyone she says thumbs up thank you ash a thumbs up of course Nobody, nothing. <laughs> I say it all the time. But it is, it is, um, it's kind of, it really does help the channel a lot when you do thumbs up on our lives, when you do thumbs up on our videos. And if you want to do thumbs down, well, you've got to do what you do. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. But a thumbs up does help us out a lot. Shows YouTube you want to see more crochet. Shows people out there that you liked what you created from our channel. So, yeah, thumbs up helps a lot. All right. So at the moment, we are still in the midst of the two vests. I can't wait to finish this vest. Poor Roz from Passion Flowers has been thinking she was supposed to create this vest last July. <laughs> but she still hasn't done it. What is going on? So once I complete it, actually, when I put part four up, I will make sure I um, hashtag her in uh, Instagram and Facebook so she can see um, the how it's coming along. <laughs> Poor Roz is thinking, Mary doesn't love me. <laughs> you didn't know who Roz is. Roz is where I purchased the hand-dyed yarn from. Now, uh, her name is Roz Passionflower. She has a, um, a farm here in Victoria. It's not far from us. Oh, no, it is. It's about an hour and 20 minutes drive or something like that. So it's not next door or anything. So you have to kind of drive out to get there. And she created this gorgeous colour combination. Now, I don't know if she's still making that colour combination. She did send me the last 100 grams, I think, of it was four of them or three of them or two. I can't remember because I'd run out of yarn. <laughs> So she sent me the last 100 grams of that dye lot. So whether she's re-dyeing them or not is another story I don't know. I haven't asked her. Um, but once we're finished here, uh, if you didn't know this, I also did an interview with Roz from Passion Flower. In fact, after the live, I'll pop the interview with Roz in the description box or the more box of this video after the live i'll pop that in that more section you can click on that link and you can actually see the interview it's a bit funny it's a bit cheeky but it's also um, very informative she does a whole hand dyeing session with us which is fantastic hand dyeing yarn dyeing session hand dyeing <laughs> um yarn dyeing session with us in that tutorial so in that tutorial you get the questions that I ask her, you get the little yarn dyeing session that we do. And of course, I do something funny at the end of all those funny, at the end of all those videos, I do something funny just to break the monotony. Thank you, Yvonne. Mary, have you done live antics yet? No, Yvonne, I'm not doing live antics today. We're doing it next week. Did I miss anything? Alicia, hi, Alicia. Are you new here, darling? Your name does not ring a bell. We started about an hour ago, which I usually give you a recap of what um of what we have here anyways so yes are you new here alicia or have you been here before the name doesn't ring a bell you are new welcome welcome we have rosalind on our channel uh, on our live at the moment who's also new 
So we have two newbies today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a lot of fun on the lives. Lives. Sometimes we're silly. Not me. It's all them. It is. It's, it's all the subscribers. It's all 20. What have we got? 24,300 of you. <laughs> They're all there. Oh, oh, she called us bad. Uh, excited to be here. We're excited to have you here, Alicia. We have a wonderful community here at Wild Crochet Designs. And when the naughties get on, we delete, block, throw them off the channel, that sort of thing. But otherwise, we haven't had them for a while. Fingers crossed I don't moz myself. Um, but we haven't had them for a while, which is a bonus. But they do get on sometimes. They give us a bit of grief. And we delete, block, delete, block. And one day we had, I don't know how many, in that one live, there would have been 20 or 30 of them, different ones coming in. So delete, block, delete, block, delete, block. It just took me all morning. <laughs> in the end, I cut the live short because I thought, I'm done. I, I don't want to waste any more time deleting and blocking. And we cut the live short that day. Well, when I say short, it was still an hour's worth. Um, oh, Ashley says, drink up. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. And I'm done with that guy. Let's get another guy. <laughs> She's so naughty. Alicia and Rosalind, you'll learn <laughs> that I'm very naughty. <laughs> but very informative. And also I get to do lots of fun crochet crafting projects whilst being naughty. So how lucky are you guys? <laughs> you get it all. <laughs> Cheers. You get all the fun. You get all the silliness. And you get the gorgeous projects as well. Check out this gorgeous piece to the new crochets if you're just joining us new. This was a dress I wore at a wedding. Um, it was really low cut and it showed my undergarments. And I thought, no, no, that will never do. So instead of buying new undergarments, which I didn't need, I just crocheted this gorgeous little piece and I attached it to it. And um, it, it, it just was perfect. Everybody kept saying, wow, that looks great. Did you make the dress? No. I just made the crochet a top part. <laughs> so I could have just lied and said I made it. No, but I didn't. Um, and I wore that to a wedding. I did have another dress to wear, but it was so old. Not old. It was new, but it was old-fashioned looking. And it was like an 80-year-old was wearing it. And I'm only 29. <laughs> she still laughs every time I say that. Um, but I'm not 80 yet. So I don't didn't want to wear a dress that made me look older so I put this on I love this dress I've worn it now four times <laughs> four times I've worn it uh, so I really love it and I wanted to wear it but I didn't want to wear it like that so I made that gorgeous little piece right there uh, we end we end up with some sore tummy sometimes Alicia from laughing we do have a little bit of cheeky lives but it, you know what it just breaks I say this all the time it breaks the monotony of our everyday, boring, mundane lives that we live. Not everyone, but I do. And everyone has them where you just got to get up in the morning and you've got to cook and you've got to clean and you've got to work and you've got to... It's everyday stuff that you think, gosh, there's got to be more to life than this. So you get on my lives and you have a bit of a chuckle and you get off and you feel a little bit better. But I've been told <laughs> not everybody likes to laugh. I've had a couple of people after the live send me private messages saying I wanted to hear a sensible crochet related discussion and all I got was chuckles and laughs and I said yep that's the way it is and they no longer follow me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, nice. I'm working on a summer dress my first. Oh Alicia. Very nice. I'd love to see that if you ever get a chance to upload on social media. Just add me and I'll get a chance to see it. That would be nice, whether it's Instagram or Facebook. Um, exactly, Mary. Thanks, Ashley. Um, we'll blend in just fine. I'm oh, great. That's great, Alicia. But I know I've had people message me saying, I'm just not impressed. And I say, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, you don't have to follow me if you don't like laughing because I do crochet. and We crochet some beautiful gear on this channel don't let anyone tell you otherwise, yeah? So we are professional in that area. In my tutorials, I am professional. Occasionally I'll say a one-liner. And then sometimes I've cut out a lot of stuff because I've giggled all the way through my video and I've had to cut a lot of it out. Um, but I do tend to make them fun to give everyone that option to be a bit more relaxed on the channel and not feel like they're, they're there just as it's like a business. It's, it is a business at the end of the day. But... 
it's not strictly. We can relax and have a good time with it at the same time. We can all enjoy ourselves. So that's what I like for my channel. And if people don't like it, they, they can go elsewhere. I'm not going to stop anyone from going elsewhere. But heads up, it will always be a happy channel. Only because that's my character. I can't change that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's too late at this age to be changing my character. <laughs> It's just way too late. I'm so sorry. Uh, why am I apologising? <laughs> Sometimes we need that laugh depending on what is happening in our life like me. Look, when I've had, um, and you've probably seen this once before, I've left notifications saying we've had a member of the family pass so I won't be on for a couple of weeks. Now, I've done that before, right? There's no way I can have a proper fun life if I'm going through that thing at that time. And you know that because it's when someone passes, that's how you feel. You're not going to sit there and go, hi. You're just not going to do it. It's not going to happen. No one can be this happy all the time. It's not physically possible. It's not emotionally possible. You cannot. But, you know, when when you can, you do. So I try to make sure. I hope I'm happy <laughs> on a Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. <laughs> and I hope I'm happy on a Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time, marry that up with your country and you will get some happiness in a live. Now, the lives, I started the Wednesday live years ago to help when we were doing blankets. In 2020, we spent the whole year focused on blankets and more blankets and more blankets. And we just kept doing them because people were home and they were sad and they just wanted to do fun stuff and they wanted to make blankets. So we did that. And I said to people, if you need help, I will start a Wednesday live to help you with the blankets. And that's what it started off with in the first place. However, after about a year, people kept saying, oh, don't, don't stop Wednesdays live. We like it. I thought, oh, it's just way too much for me. And they kept telling me, so I keep Wednesdays live in. <laughs> if it was up to me, I would remove Wednesdays live and just keep Saturday mornings. But some people can't make Saturday mornings, but they can make Wednesday afternoons. The lives are here, more of a relaxed atmosphere to make you feel a little bit more comfortable and relaxed with us, to ask any questions that you may have for any item that we've done during the week, that sort of thing, to catch up on some blankets, to catch up on some... Like you've mentioned earlier that you're making a dress, I love when people tell me what they're creating. In actual, actual fact, I want everyone to tell me what they are working on currently. If they're not crocheting right now, what's your project that you are crocheting that even though you're not doing it now, but you're doing it later or you're doing or you've done it earlier. What's a project that you're working on right now that you'd like to talk about? That's what we think we should do more often, hey? Uh, exactly. Just recently went to a funeral and looking at going to another within a year. So definitely need a laugh at the moment. It's exactly the same. Actually, I think we're in an era too. It's our age group, yeah. People around us, and some of them a little bit older, are passing. So we're going to have that more often, yeah. What time Saturday mornings? 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. Marry that up with your country, Alicia. Not sure what country you are from, but it is always 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. So if you're from a different state in Australia as well, you need to check the time uh, that is on, yeah. Uh, you're making a cardigan right now, Carmen. Gorgeous. Lorraine's doing a hexagon blanket. Gorgeous. Um, Ashley, ben, yes, thanks. Ashley says 10 a.m. Yes, it's definitely 10 a.m. Uh, too sure, says Margaret. Oh, you're keen, Margaret. Wow. Um, yes, exactly, says Ashley. All right. So, yeah, marry that up with your time, 10 a.m. Saturday morning and 4 p.m. Wednesday afternoons. Always marry that up with your country or even with the state here in Australia, we have different time zones in our states. And you're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Did I say it right? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I hope I said that right. Um, so, yeah, you need to marry that up with your country. All you do is type in um, what time is it in Wisconsin if it's 10 o'clock Saturday morning Melbourne. And then it'll come up on your Google. If you Dr. Google, Uncle Google, Auntie Google it whatever you want to call it, <laughs> Google what time is it in Wisconsin if it's 10 a.m. Saturday morning in Melbourne and it'll give you the time that you need to pop on. That's how I tell people to get on. Always Google because it'll tell you Google's wonderful. You can, It can use be used against you or it can be used for you. I use it for me all the time. <laughs> 
and 4 p.m. Wednesdays, that's right. Uh, a hexagon blanket, nice. They don't come out right for me. Well, I'm do that's because, now, here we go again, Alicia. Hexagons are the same. They have different corners than a granny square. Uh, you need to be careful on your increasing in the hexagon. Sometimes if it starts to wave, then my suggestion would be to either mess around with the corners so you're adding different size stitch, different amount of stitches in the corners, or um, mess around with the amount of uh, stitches in each cluster set, that sort of thing. It is a pest, yeah. Uh, well, happy days, town. Happy days, town, yes. Uh, oh, it's a, it's 8.12pm uh, now, but I'll Google it. All right, so one hour and 10 minutes ago was when I started, Alicia. Marry that up with your time. One hour and 10 minutes ago I started, all right? Uh, must head off. Have fantastic weekend, everyone. Goodbye, Kiki. We will see you soon. Uh, Saturday week we will restart Live Antics. We're not doing Live Antics until we complete this top, all right? So Saturday morning we will restart it. Next Saturday coming. Saturday week, yeah? We will restart Live Antics. It's very exciting. Uh, now, Live Antics to our new members here at Well Crochet Designs. Live Antics is when I pop four or five different colours of yarn on the table. And I haven't got my hat with me because we haven't done it for a while. I'm looking up where, where did I put it? <laughs> um, I pop your names. Where did I put the hat? In a hat. I pop all your names in a hat. The, the names are here for some reason. Uh, so let's see who's on our live now. Who's on our live? Not Catherine. Is Catherine on? Um, Ashley. So. Ashley's name will get folded up. Her name will go into a hat along with everybody else. We'll shake it up. We'll pull a name out. And all of a sudden, oh, look at that. It's Ashley. So Ashley gets to choose the colour combination that I have on the table. If I say choose two colours, she'll choose two colours out of that five or she'll choose one colour out of the five, depending on what we're making. And then I'll create the item using the colours that she's chosen. And I also mention her name on the video. The tutorial itself now don't worry i don't put last names i don't put your dog's name your cat's name your dresses none of this goes up and i don't know any of this anyway so unless you've got beautiful dogs please tell me about the beautiful dogs i love beautiful dogs um and i love animals so i don't mind but i only put your first name up like this one here was uh chosen by the lovely lorraine and i always say lorraine in the video all right so her name gets mentioned i don't put all that other information about lorraine just the first name. Yep. Purple and blue says Ashley. <laughs> Next week, Ashley. Uh, so that's what we do to our new subscribers. We do that every Saturdays normally. But because we've been doing these massive blankets and the vests projects and this top, mystery top project, I've kind of held back on it. After this week, we will go back to live antics again, make a few small projects, a few fun items, items that we will have that you can use daily, yeah, instead of, look, I love wearing my vests. If I wore vests every day, I would. <laughs> I love vests. I, always, I love vests because, as you can see, I like my arms free from dangly bits, which is why I don't wear jewellery. Um, and so I don't care too much for my arms to be covered, but I do like my chest and part of my top area warm. So I wear vests a lot on everything from summer gear to winter gear i don't always wear it in summer if it gets too hot but i do wear the cotton vests the very lightweight cotton vests during summer on top of my singlet tops or on top of my t-shirts or you know any soft blouse during spring when it's like a, a 16 degree cool day in spring but there's sun out yeah i put the vest over and then i go out i don't just walk out with a blouse and it's freezing out there yeah so I put the vest on and I go out. So I do like to wear my vests, which you will, will be seeing more of. We were supposed to make, with all of the leftover yarn here from, oh, what was it? Our temperature blanket. I really forgot. That's how long it's been. We were supposed to make a scrap vest. We still will, right? Not right, not right now, not straight away. We will still make one. But I was kind of thinking more into a scrap sweater instead. But we'll see. We'll do a little poll 
we'll ask those who mentioned the scrap vest. I might even send a private message to one lady. She was the one who wanted the scrap vest in the first place. I might ask her if it's okay if we do a scrap sweater because at the end of the day, I want to make things that you guys, look, I'll wear anything. <laughs> I'll, wear everything. I'll wear it all, right? I want to make things that you guys are going to enjoy. And I know this lovely lady said, can we make a scrap uh, vest? I said, okay, if, it, if anything, it'll just be around the neck. It'll be worked up this way, up the back. The measurements will be very simple and it'll just be a little cowl neck. Like that, but a bit lower, a bit higher neck. Uh, okay, next week going to be good uh, week. Hopefully my craft class starts again. Live antics, woohoo. Yeah, it's going to be a good week. Sweater, says Ashley. Uh, I'm up for the sweater or a vest. You know what? Let's do a little poll now. What do you reckon for the people who are on the live? And then we can do another one on Wednesday. And then I'll send my um, the person who wanted the uh, vest. I call her my main subscriber because she's been with us a long time. It's not Angela. Angela, who you know, has been with us since um how long? I think the first six months we started on YouTube, which was about six years ago. Angela was one of our longest surviving, <laughs> surviving, it sounds terrible, surviving um, members here at Wild Crochet Designs. So uh, Angela's been around a very long time. But it was another lady who was a part of our channel a lot for a long time during Let's just say when we were all indoors, we won't talk about what era that is. We do not wish to discuss that. I do not wish to advertise for them. <laughs> uh, but let's say that we were all indoors and this particular lady had a lot to do with our channel. So I'm going to go back and ask her if she's okay with a sweater or a vest and we'll see what she says. I'm happy either way because I will wear either one of them. As you know, I'll wear both, so I don't care. So Ashley... Let's turn this over for a minute. Okay, here we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's different. No, better not do it there. That was the jacket. I don't want to do it on the same part as the jacket, yeah? All right, so we say uh, scrap vest or scrap sweater. And we'll see what people are saying, yeah? All right, so let's go right back. Ashley says sweater. Ashley sweater uh carmen says cap sleeved v-neck pullover which is a sweater yeah cap sleeve v-neck pullover to be fair i haven't made a cowl neck one yet who oh, pullover w <laughs> excuse me mary um ashley says hoodie but you've already said sweater we'll pop Hoodie there next to it. Stop making things up now, Ashley. <laughs> You're stressing me out. Um, Lorraine, like you, Mary, I like my arms free, so vest would be great. Or three-quarter, yes, I like the idea of a three-quarter sweater. Not even a sweater, it's a three-quarter thing. <laughs> thing. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mary? Um, a three-quarter thingy. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it too, Lorraine. There you go. Um, oh, I'm going to have to put another lane for that, another line for that. Three-quarter thingy. <laughs> we'll call it a vest then. Vest three-quarter thingy for Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine and Mary like the three-quarter thingy. <laughs> I've just put there Lorraine three-quarters. I'll understand that. What if I get to it next week and think, what does Lorraine want a three-quarter of? <laughs> I'll forget. No, I won't forget. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, hoodie sweater. Sherry Cathy likes a hoodie sweater. Oh, everyone likes a hoodie. I don't mind doing a hoodie. It's been a while. I think we did one with the, oh, the little Capulet cap cape thing that we did for Halloween a few years ago. Two years ago? Two years ago? Three years ago? I don't even know. It was such a long time. Three years ago it was. We did like a cape thing. And it had a hood. Oh, it was very nice. I loved it. I, I really loved that outfit. <laughs> but you can't wear it out anywhere. It's just an unusual outfit. It was pretty much just for Halloween or if you want to be dark. <laughs> um, yes, says Alicia. Yes, gotcha. Um, all right. So, oh, hang on. Alicia, which one was, 
Which one did you want, Alicia? I'm confused now, hun. What did you say? Alicia wanted the sweater vest, yes. Um, the vest. So Alicia wanted the vest. I've spelled your name wrong. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary. Get it right. Um, three quarter sleeve says, Ashley, how many? Ashley, you're double dipping. <laughs> No double dipping, young lady. You stand in that corner and do as you're told. Um, <laughs> Ashley's double dipping. Do you love it? She's double dipping, everyone. Um, <laughs> so what we'll do is we, will, for those of you who haven't responded, it'd be great if you'd let me know what sort of things that you're looking for, whether you're looking for a scrap sweater or whether you're looking for a scrap vest. If we were going to do a sweater with a hoodie, I would suggest not being scrap. I would suggest a one colour or even uh, a granny square thing, but even that would look weird. So I think with a hoodie, it would be better off not being a scrap. And we can make one of that further on into winter, winter if you like, which would be July, August, that kind of time. Um, we could do that. I wouldn't mind making a black sweater with the hoodie for Halloween maybe but I've got other plans for Halloween this year and I'm stewing over it and stewing over it. I don't know whether I want to do it because if I do it has to start from literally after Mother's Day I have to start creating that is how far away I would have to create to make the funny video for you at Halloween <laughs> there was a funny video I did years ago which I used some of the terminology in crochet as characters in the video that was the 2020 Halloween video. Have a look at that. I'll actually pop up that link in the description box down below. It was completely silly, but all the items that I was wearing in that video, we created for the Halloween video, for that video. And it looked spectacular. We had the Halloween, is it up here? Oh, it is here. I don't want to knock down that. Give me a second and I'll just get it. I don't want to knock down the uh, tea cosy. This guy right here, I'm going to put it on. I love this piece when I made it. <laughs> I'm not going to show you yet. When I made it, it was fantastic. I do the button up. So it's got a little button right there. Then you turn him around and you've got yourself a Halloween necklace. How gorgeous is that necklace? Look at that. That's a kit, kitty cat. That's a bat with the eyes. Eyes are a bit small on the bat. Um, and that's the... Uh, the um what do you call it evil eye <laughs> and we made this on the channel i can leave the link to this guy here i think i've put this on wrong but anyway it's, turned, it's twisted around i don't know what i've done i don't know i've twisted this around hello here we go are we right i don't know i've twisted the button around excuse me come on mary you can do this is it inside out now no the right way that's good so there you go. We made that for Halloween a few years ago and I wore it in the video. So there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, that would be awesome, says Ashley. Yes. Uh, blind crochet with black. Oh, yeah, I know. It is a bit blinding though, isn't it? What about a temperature sweater? That might be nice, which is very similar to a scrap vest. Very similar. Yeah. Uh, like that, that Alicia yeah it's very similar to a scrap vest Alicia you use the temperature of that day that would it would actually work uh I'm not really sure if it'll work for extra small <laughs> because how many they would probably because it depends on the rows <laughs> oh no you could you could you could do the back one one section and then the, the let's try the back then the front <laughs> the back of the front <laughs> You do the back and then the front. If you were to do 40 rows, I'm just guessing 50 rows, depending on how big you are. If you're an extra small, you'd probably get away with 36 to 46 rows, that kind of. I'm guessing here because it depends on what we're making, whether it's a double, half, double, single, whatever. Um, and that wouldn't be enough for a temp Maybe you could do a temperature blanket for that month. Yeah, because it's 30, 30 days in... A month or 31 or 28 depending on whether it's a leap year or whatever else it is um so yeah you could do it as a month in the in that month or a temperature blanket for that day that we are doing the sweater or that week 
well that it's 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 a bit awkward the temperature one it really is it would have to be a crochet along if you did the temperature one i'm going to take this off because it's not halloween guys let us have to turn it around it's like when we put our undergarments on <laughs> we're going to say too much um but yeah that's gorgeous so it's a little necklace and if you didn't want to make it for halloween don't add these things here what i did was i made them as holes and then we filled up the holes so there's actually, when, when you take off these, you see holes in each one of these. So you can make your little necklace that's not for Halloween. You can make it for anything. But I'll pop the links to these items that we're talking about today in the more section down below. You can click on those and play with those. That's what I'm saying. We've done so many items on this channel. So when people say, oh, what are you going to make next? Well, I'm telling you what I'm going to make next. If you say, oh, I really don't want to do that then go and have a look at some of our older gear and there will be times where I will say, have you guys made this yet? Have you guys made that? Uh, I did that about a year or so ago. I started saying, you know, popping uh, videos up on my Facebook page and message Instagram saying, if anyone's made this and want to make this, don't forget to check us out on, you know, this playlist and whatever else have you. I've done it on our um, community board here often where I've popped an old video up and said, have you created one of these yet? So I've done that often and I might start doing that with our blankets again because blankets are very popular and right now we're not making any. So I might start popping all our old ones up saying, have you made one of these? Have you made one of those? Um, I've got a lot of favourites. As you know, my favourite is the kaleidoscope blanket when it comes to blankets. Um, I don't know now. Then you've got the pretty as a peacock blanket. <gasps> that was so... If you haven't done that and you are a more advanced crocheter, my suggestion would be to make the pretty as a peacock blanket. Um, if you're not advanced, you can create it, but take your time because it would be new to you with new stitches. Drink up, says Ashley. Okay, we'll drink up. Cheers. All right. So, okay, we've got a few people saying sweaters. Three people say sweater. Two people say scrap vest. One with a three-quarter. Lorraine says three-quarter. She's like a Mary. Lorraine's doing a Mary. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do this poll again on Wednesday and then when we've finished all of this we'll do the poll yet again and get more information yeah uh, might make that next that then next are we talking the kaleidoscope or the pretty as a peacock pretty as a peacock blanket is simply divine the colors kind of look like this it's got your greens and your blues someone said uh, on a, another post on Facebook, someone put a post up about it, which was one of our subscribers. She said, go check out this blanket. And the person got on and said, but there's no purple in there. I wanted purple. And I said, well, to my in myself, I said, there's definitely purple in it because I bought purple and put purple in it. She wasn't watching. <laughs> so definitely there's a little bit of purple, not a lot. What you see more in that blanket is the greens and the blues. So keep that in mind. But you can use any colours you like any colors you like um the kaleidoscope blanket is so easy actually for you ashley you could do the kaleidoscope blanket uh blindfolded <laughs> don't do it but i would wouldn't suggest doing it blindfolded but you probably could and you could do that blanket in front of the tv the only time you need to concentrate is when you're joining uh, the corners at the end of a set which is takes you forever to get to the end of the set. You just got to keep going, keep going, keep going until you get to the end of the set and then you join it there. You do have to have a little bit of count when counting backwards per round row because you go like that, down, chain three, whatever it is, and then you turn, you do your double crochet in the end and you go around again. So it's kind of backward and forward, backward and forward. So keep that in mind, um, Ashley. Wow, says Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. Lovely to have a wow. And a wow factor. There's nothing wrong with us here at Wow Crochet Designs. We have crocheted practically everything. Now, if you've gone through my channel and you've seen a lot of stuff, but you haven't seen something that you really want, please let me know. I write it on a list. And when I finish the gear we're working on, I pop one of the items from that list especially if it's popular like the hexagon cardigan which we're going to do next i pop it in the middle of our work because sometimes 
doing a popular project that you guys want is more important than finishing whatever I'm finishing. Okay, so I love when people tell me, and I'm happy if you do it now, what you want to see on the channel. We can't always do it, but it's I pop it on a list. And I pick, there's, all, there's a big list at the moment. But if it's popular at that moment that you want to make it, then I'll probably make that first before I do anything else. I am leaving, this is what I've done, July until October, empty. I've got nothing in, no, I have. I've got little things in there which we'll be creating throughout the year. So between July and October, I've left empty because here in Australia, that's our winter and spring and we're heading into uh, summer, right? So I want to spend that time making what's popular here in Australia for our winter and spring. So I've left that open with obviously a few little things to make along the way, some live antics. I'd already planned those little things. In fact, this guy was one of them, right? But um, I wanted to make that literally for um, Valentine's Day, which I think we did. Did we make this for Valentine's? Or not? No, we didn't. We didn't make that for Valentine's. I don't know what we made that for. <laughs> it was a live antics. We made this guy for Valentine's. Yeah. So what I do is I like to keep that time very free. So if you've got something that you want to see for your winter in your country, uh, and we're having winter here, or even in your summer in your country, because I will create some summer projects if they are popular, because I know if they're popular with you overseas, wherever you live, it's likely when our summer hits, they're going to be popular for us as well. So keep that in mind, guys. If you want to see stuff, please let me know. Uh, <clears throat> I still haven't finished going <clears throat> through everything on your channel. There's six, six years to go through, yeah? Something pet related. We are supposed to be making a pet bed, Ashley. We are making a pet bed. <clears throat> I haven't decided what kind yet. Uh, I did buy the yarn for it. In fact, let me show you up there. Right there. That was the um, pet yarn. That was the yarn I bought for the pet blanket that we were going to make. And it's not a pet blanket. It's just a little bed with uh, walls up the side, like walls up the side like that, and your cat or your puppy uh, can sleep in that and if you want to make yours bigger I just say right make yours bigger this way not that way <laughs> make yours bigger in the round and then you can have your bed bigger but for us we going to make a small one like that so a little kitty can fit in there or a little puppy can fit in it and then I say for you if you want yours bigger please do yours bigger I will use it for my cat she's very frail extremely frail and very thin that's the disease that she has right now so it's, I can't really, um, oh, my voice is going there. I can't really do anything about that. But you will probably see her sleeping in it and you'll see how thin and, you know, small she's become. That's what happens. Um, but we've got the yarn for it. In fact, there's two creams and two blues. So keep that in mind, guys. We are making one. That is on the list, actually, yeah? I mentioned it on our beginning of the video this year. Drink up, says Ashley. You love the doily, do you, Ashley? Me too. I love that doily. I'm going to be creating a few more, uh, but they won't be on the channel. They will be um, paid patterns on my website. When they do come out, I will let you know. Guys, I keep telling everyone, YouTube here is my first point of call. You guys are the first ones to know whenever I uh, bring out something new. You guys find out first. Then I go to Facebook and Instagram and everybody else. So there you go. Need a big and small one, says Ashley. What are we talking, uh, a doily? Is that what you're talking about? Or, or bed? You're talking pet bed. Well, I'm going to make the small one and I'm going to say to you, right, if you want yours bigger, then you need to do another da -da 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 rose. Did you get that number? Da -da 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 rose. <laughs> I'm sure you can work the number out from there. Da -da 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 rose. <laughs> Until I make it, I can't tell you how many rows to do. <laughs> Poor Key Carmen, she's not doing well. And there's nothing vets can do about it. All they're saying, it was neurological. So all this, she eats. And what she eats, she discards about an hour later through her tummy. Comes out through her mouth. I don't want to say the word because it makes people un unwell <laughs> when you say it. Uh, I'm thinking of doing heaps and giving for presents. Very good idea. I'm going to make it as basic 
And when I say basic, I mean basic as possible. So that way, it'll probably just be one stitch all the way through. It might have a little section like that where it will be not so basic and you can put a bit of stuffing in there if you want. A little bit of fluff. What do I call it? Fluff and wool. <laughs> you know that fluff? I can't remember the name of it. Every time I think about it, it's always called fluff and wool. <laughs> That's what we call it here at home. My son started that years ago when he was a child, little bitty baby, like that much, and we call it that ever since. It's got a name. <laughs> oh, it's up the top there. I can't see it. It's in the cupboard with the, the, with the um, sliding door shut, so I can't see it. <laughs> I got a whole bag of it up at the top of the cupboard, which I don't use very often because I don't do amigurumi much on the channel. In fact, the only amigurumi you have seen on this channel is um guy up there him and also um <clears throat> and also um the pumpkin for halloween the pin cushion things like that that's the only mega room i've used so far we might do some in the future filling it's a stuffing stuff <laughs> actually your wi-fi is acting up oh alicia oh. Is it me that's playing up? It must be me. It's my uh, internet that's having connection issues. <gasps> really? Oh, it's so sad. I have to go. Now, I can stick around if it if it sorts itself out, but it looks like, because oh, I can see it here, like my voice. <laughs> you probably don't know this, but when I see it, I see my words talking and the voice is coming out a little bit later. <laughs> I think it's my connection. It really, I think it might be my connection. Maybe because I moved the camera. Stop touching that camera, Mayor. <laughs> when you move things around, it doesn't like it. No, not you. Okay, so I'm back again, am I? Oh, because someone else said it was um, like Alicia's saying the same thing. So it must be me. Uh, you're fine for me. Oh, okay. All right, I'm fine. Ashley says I'm fine. Ashley's from Australia. She's not from Melbourne, but she's from Australia. What about, oh, hello, <laughs> Tops, Alicia. What about Tops? We'll call it Tops. I don't want to say that word online, but we'll, there's things called bralettes. You can make them like that, uh, those things. But I haven't thought about it yet. I have made a few for um, when I did, uh, when I did, what do you call them? Oh my gosh, stalls. I couldn't get it out. When I did stalls, I made a few and actually sold a few at the stalls as well at markets. Um, so we could do one on the channel. The problem with doing one on the channel is getting the cup sizes correct. Everyone's cup sizes are different. I could only give a certain amount for sizes, like maybe, you know, 28 to whatever it is. You just have to check the cup sizes, really. I can show you how to measure your cup sizes on a mannequin. In fact, when we talked about this, all I said was I made uh, a similar cup size from the chest from here, from there, down to just there. And then I said, that's all we're doing. So everyone's was very similar. I had different measurements for different sizes or everyone's was very similar because from there to there, it's, it's pretty similar. But if you're talking a bralette or something you kind of have to work on cup sizes you can't just work from there to there it's a lot of messing around and I noticed that if you don't get your tension exactly the same as mine it won't work out yeah so my suggestion would be to do it tighter and maybe we could sort out like a a border round and if it's not tight enough and too much is showing you can do a second border round giving it a little bit more um Pacarina Rinna. <laughs> Pacarina Rinna. Putting it all in together and shoving that there and shoving that there. I'm um, sure you know what I mean. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is a crochet channel. What's going on? Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it is a lot of mucking around, but it's really important when making something like that that you get the same tension. Now, I know a lot of people say they don't like doing a gauge swatch. Do the gauge swatch done <laughs> don't say you don't like doing them do them <laughs> because you know it's funny because I had someone do the gauge swatch for uh not this blanket it was another blanket what was it for might have been for something else might have been one of our sweaters I can't even remember 
and she did the gauge swatch and she said, oh, mine's about seven centimetres bigger than yours. Well, imagine if she had done the top before doing that gauge swatch, okay? That's seven centimetres for a, for, on a four-inch square, right, or a 10 centimetre square. So hers was 17 centimetres, right? Imagine if she had to do extra small, right, and she did hers seven centimetres big per square, and it might have taken you, I don't know, 10 squares across. Hers would be 10 by 7. What is that? 70 centimetres bigger than the than her own size. <laughs> what? So you really need to, to do a gauge swatch. You oh, Look, I can't stress this enough. You must, if you're doing garments, you must do a gauge swatch. If you're doing blankets and you're not worried about measurements, don't worry about it. Just, just keep going, right? But when you're doing clothing, it's an absolute must to do a gauge swatch. Must. <laughs> she cannot stress that enough. Must, must, must. All right, that's all. <laughs> yeah, so it could be. It could work out that your size, in fact, what if she'd had a smaller square than mine? What if hers was, mine was 10 centimetres and hers was 6 centimetres? So that's 4 centimetre less per square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 40 centimetres smaller than her size. So if she was to have that less, that fit wouldn't fit her. It wouldn't even fit, especially if she's making extra small. It wouldn't even fit the average woman, the normal when I say normal size, the average size from here to your waist kind of woman, yeah, it'd have to go right down to teenage, not even teenagers, because teenagers are quite tall these days, so their bodies are long from there to there, so they're actually women's sizes almost now, right, so it would have to go right down to a 10-year-old, <laughs> and always when I say to you, we are working on an eight-ply or a DK weight yarn for your clothing, don't go and use an Aran weight or a chunky because that will change the whole thing. Someone made our poncho with us, our Rustaman Vibrations poncho with us. She used a 10 ply or an Aran weight. I said to her, make sure you're using the 8 ply or the 3 weight. She used the 4 weight and it was down to her calves and it came off the shoulders and hung down there. The poncho sat under her shoulders and it was just so loose and big and bulky and it right, went right down to her calves. She said, how can I fix this? I said, you can't. You should have used the 8-ply, <laughs> the DK weight, or you should have used the Aran, or you should have used the Chunky. Stick with the same weight. It doesn't matter if it's a different colour, just must stick to the same weight, unless you're making a blanket. If you're making a blanket and you don't want to use the same weight and you're not worried about size or measurements, by all means, go and use your own um, weight. It doesn't matter. Your own thread, your own acrylic, your own wool, whatever it is you want to use. But when you're making garments and someone says you're using an 8-ply or a DK weight, that's what you need to use, or a number 3 weight. They say they're using an Aran weight or a 4 weight, that's the one you need to use. They say they're needing a chunky weight or a 5 weight, then that's the one you need to use. Stick with the weight. Don't worry about colour. Don't worry about thread or wool. Although cotton and wool and acrylic can make can come out differently. How, how do I say this? The gauge swatch can come out differently for your cotton, wool, and acrylic. So make the gauge swatch when you are making a sweater, even if you're using the same weight, but you're using a different type of wool or acrylic or cotton. In fact, I did with our which sweater was it? Oh my gosh, I've forgotten now. The patchwork sweater. With our patchwork sweater, I did three gauge swatches in that video. One in cotton, one in wool, and one in acrylic. They all came out different sizes. <laughs> they are the same weight, but they were cotton, wool, and acrylic. So the way you crocheted that acrylic was needing that hook. The way you crocheted that cotton was needing that hook and the way you crocheted in the wool was needing that hook. But they were the same weight with different hooks. I tell a lie, one of them I needed a five millimetre hook and two of them I needed a four, no, two of them I needed a five millimetre hook and one of them I needed a four and a half millimetre hook because the thread or whatever it is, 
that yarn was, uh, even though it was eight ply or ten ply, I think we used ten, ten ply with that, the stretch of that was not the same as the others. So you had to go down or you had to go up. Oh, and, and I used the same brand. So it was Bendigo Woolen Mills Cotton, Bendigo Woolen Mills Wool. I couldn't get acrylic in Bendigo Woolen Mills at the time, so I used a different brand. But the cotton and the wool were the same weight but needed different hook size, come from the same company. Yeah, so I'm telling you now, a gauge swatch is a must. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you can't stress it enough. Uh, can we do something? Oh, let's go back. Uh, can we do something with lemon and saddle stitches? Let's have a look. Well, I might have a look. I'll look it up later. But lemon, the lemon stitch. And what was that one? Saddle. I don't know the saddle one. Saddle stitches. I know lemon. Lemon peel, you mean. Is that what you mean? Lemon peel's easy. Is that what you mean, the lemon peel? Uh, saddle stitches. Well, check that up. I can't remember that one. You know how some of them you just can't remember? But lemon peel is very simple. Uh, drink ups is actually drink up, drink up, drink up. Cheers. Is that what you mean, lemon peel? Mm. We're definitely doing something in the ripple. Um, we're definitely doing whether it's ripple blanket, ripple top, ripple skirt, ripple table runner, ripple house cover. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, okay. Lemon peel. Okay, I gotcha. What if you just can't make the gauge? Yeah, that's tricky, Carmen. We'll talk about that in a second. I don't know those stitches. That's okay. We can work on lemon peel is very simple. I can't remember the saddle. I, it, I've heard of it, but I cannot remember it. Um, what we were talking about? Oh, the gauge. All right. Okay. This is where I come in handy when I'm making gauge. When we were doing the vest, this one here, I said, if your gauge because the vest we're working from the side seam is here but that's our starting row when we work up we turn down we go we work like this with our vest i said to you when we was doing when we were doing the gauge that it didn't matter if how did i say it if the gauge <laughs> i'm trying to see if i can remember how i said it we've got a gauge swatch here somewhere I'll use the gauge swatch. We'll use the granny square. No, it doesn't, that's no good because it's the same size. All right. It didn't matter if it was bigger, if your gauge swatch was bigger width-wise. All right, let me put it the right way. That's how we made the gauge swatch, right? It didn't matter if your gauge swatch was bigger this way. But I wanted the gauge swatch to be correct from the length. I'm hoping I'm making sense. That was an absolute must that that had to be correct. But for the width, it didn't matter if it was bigger. If it was smaller, that's no good. Because the width, we were making our vest this way. So if yours was bigger, it'll just be longer. And it'll give you a nicer effect. It's not going to make a difference, yeah? But if it's, well, it does. It does make a difference, even on the underarm. But it's not as bad as if you were too small this way because when you go across your top will finish there where everybody else's will be there oh yeah it is tricky gauge swatches are tricky they really are you you have to either adjust your own attention for it or you have to drop hook sizes drop hook size if it's too big pop a hook size up if it's too small that's the only suggestion i have a lot of people say that to me what if it doesn't match well, one of them has to suit. We have, I know we all have tight tension and loose tension, but one of the needles, did I say needles? I meant hooks. <laughs> We're not doing knitting here. One of the hooks have to suit your gauge swatch. One of them must suit. <laughs> if it's a millimetre off, like if it's a tiny, tiny millimetre, that's not going to be too much of an issue. But if it's a centimetre or two centimetres or three or four, then you're in trouble. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny millimetre. It also depends on the garment. If the garment is made tight, then you must have an accurate gauge swatch. If the garment is bulky and big, you can get away with it being a tiny little bit tight, but not too much because you're only doing that little square. And remember, if you are 100 centimetres across this way, that's 10 squares. So if you're out 10 centimetres, that's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll be out a lot by the time you're finished. It's a lot. <laughs> so just be weary when you're doing that. Um, I don't know those stitches. Alicia, before we do anything on the channel, we either do a tutorial, a small tutorial on it, like a 10-minute tutorial, or I also do shorts. So when you see a short, keep your eyes on those shorts, guys, because I do stitches in the shorts that you will see coming up on the channel you can have that you can make that stitch and have a play with that stitch until the project comes up sometimes it's a week early sometimes a whole month early and people say why'd you do it so early for well you know it's just because i thought we were going to get close to it <laughs> it makes sense alicia thank you um carmen all i can suggest is just keep trying hun because Gauge swatch, I, it's so important. Look, I'm one that never used to do them. I never used to do them. And until I made a knitted uh, pattern for my a little knitted cardigan at the time, it wasn't knitted, it wasn't crochet. And I did a knitted cardigan for my daughter when she was born. And I didn't do the gauge swatch. And I knit very tightly like a crochet. And literally it only fit her the day I'd finished after that, it didn't fit her anymore. She wore it once, once. And I was so annoyed because I should have just done the gauge swatch. Then I would have noticed that my, my crochet was too tight and I would have gone up a hook size and it would have fitted her for a whole year or maybe more, you know, because it would have been bigger. Um, but, so when you're working for the very, very young baby, a gauge swatch, an absolute must. <laughs> you mess that up, that little baby's going to be wearing like a gown as a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> an evening gown for an adult as a newborn so gauge swatches are real i'm exaggerating a little bit sorry guys she does do that sometimes <laughs> she exaggerates a little bit okay well that's that guys let's quick look at the time it's let's have a drink first <laughs> cheers mm. <coughs> i don't know where all the usual gang is at this time we have a uh, quite a few people that usually come on on a saturday mornings but they're missing and that's okay what I want to do now quickly is talk about exactly what we're going to get this week again. And then we will talk about what's happening uh, next Saturday on our live. And then we'll also head off. <coughs> uh, I'm guilty of that. Uh, came out too big. That's right, Alicia. It happens. We've all done it, Alicia. I've done it so many times. I didn't even learn my lesson the first time. <laughs> but I don't do that anymore. If someone makes something and says, Mary, can you test this for me? But there's the gauge swatch. I will definitely use the gauge swatch. It's really, really important. All right. <clears throat> so this week we are getting pattern writing on Monday. The pattern writing is actually for this vest, this part of the vest, which is complete, but needs to have the, um, the right amounts popped up on the screen. So keep that in mind. So that'll either come up Monday night, this vest, <coughs> part three, four of the vest which is the left front on monday night or tuesday all right um tuesday i've put down vest because if that comes up monday i'll push to get the vest out tuesday again i'll try i won't be able to get that out tuesday i'll do the, the top instead thursday wednesday we have our live at five uh, let's try that again at 4 p.m wednesday afternoons we don't upload anything on wednesday because of that occasionally i'll pop up a short if we're doing something that week, which we're not, so I'm not going to put one up this week. Uh, Thursday, I've put down this top here. I'm very itchy now. I've touched something that's made me itchy. Um, we're doing this mystery top that you will see complete on Thursday. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, Friday, vest again. This vest is going to get done before we do anything else on the channel. That's where we're headed. <laughs> That is exactly where we're headed. Uh, you missed my Achu comment. Oh, did I? Where? What? Oh, hang on. <coughs> oh, did I? Achu comment. Achu. 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 When I said knitting. Achu. <laughs> Achu. Um, all right. So thank you very much for joining us today, guys. This time next Saturday, we will be doing live antics. So to the new crocheters joining us today, Next Saturday, you have an opportunity to choose a colour combination from all of my yarn that I've got here. But I actually put the colours on the table because I know what I want to make with them. <laughs> but I put all the colours on the table and I say, right, whoever I name I pull out of the hat that day, I'll say, right, you get to choose the colours 
for the very next tutorial. Then I wait a whole week because it'll take me a week to create it. Um, and then your pattern goes up. I let you know what day your pattern goes up or at least what part of the week your pattern will go up. So you'll get to see it. The pattern, I have already have patterns made. All I do is create the item using the colours that you have given me. Thank you for the thumbs up, Ashley. Thank you for the chats, everyone. To the new subscribers who have joined us today, thank you so much for being with us. Anybody who's naughty in the naughty corner can get out now. <laughs> I think that's you, Ashley. Um, <laughs> I will see everyone on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Don't forget to keep your eyes peeled on the channel this week because these projects, they've got to be done this week. They have to be done this week keep your eyes also peeled on our more section down below of this video in about 10 minutes and that's when i'll have all those um tutorials for what we've been seeing today blue and purple says ashley stop that naughty girl i will see everyone on wednesday my name is mary this is wow crochet designs and ciao for now and i'll try to be good yeah <laughs> bye don't be good it's all right <laughs> bye all <laughs>